Welcome back to my Morning Pot Analysis videos on Monday 15th of April with me Richard Bear Market Analyst at Handtech Markets looking at dollar yen which edged higher uh, on Thursday Friday last week two positive bullish candles that uh, once again put dollar yen right back into uh, the resistance the key resistance of um, February March 1190 was the March high 11 uh, sorry 1210 was the late March, uh, sorry, early March high, and then mid March high was 11.90. So this is this. These are the levels that are getting tested now, and we've seen that uh, Friday's reaction high, and then today sort of edging back lower from 12.10. Interesting that it's all coming out underneath the old overhead supply from November and December lows. So this is the crucial point. You do have this uptrend that is forming, and you've got a run of higher lows um, in the last couple of weeks. That is developing into this um, this sort of squeeze towards that resistance. Um, uh, momentum indicators are sort of they are positive without being extremely p bullish. I would say the RSI sort of around that 60 point um, needs to get through that really because it's been a point at which RSI has previously sort of failed. Certainly back in uh, the mid March high. And the MACD lines are not really doing a great deal uh, to inspire all that much confidence. Stochastics do look fairly positive though. Um, but yeah, you still sort of look at this and think, well, you need to get through this resistance band 12.10 to 12.20. And if you can do that and you can see that on a closing basis, then the, I think the bulls would have a bit more of a run higher, maybe even to the 13, 13.50s area, maybe 14 figure. But um, for now, it's still an overhead supply. It's still a, an issue for the bulls to break through. Now, on the hourly chart, you can see here, it got a little bit stretched on the RSI, which has just sort of induced a bit of a drift back today. But 1180 is a breakout. 1160 is also an old pivot and a breakout. So a couple of levels which would suggest a buying opportunity between 1180, uh, sorry, 1160, 1180. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how the uh, the market responds to this little drift back because if the RSI starts to go, say for example, below 40 again, you sort of start questioning how strong the bulls really are. But I think between 1160 and 1180, I think that's a decent opportunity. So I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later.